As dawn broke on the Murray River, it revealed a familiar sight. A little bit tired, to be honest. I think it uh, is Groundhog Day yet again. Last year, Aubrey Wodonga was split in half by a police checkpoint on the Lincoln Causeway as Victoria was locked down. This time, the problem is north of the border, but the impact is still being keenly felt. We've just come off an anniversary of 143 days of this garbage and now we're back into it less than a week later. We know, listening to our community, both councils, um, we've watched over the last week, week and a half, as the tension's sort of risen. Both mayors agree this lockdown looks to be more manageable, with lessons learned from the hard closure that divided the city last year. The key component is a generous border bubble, allowing those who live 100 kilometres either side of the Murray to move, work and shop interstate. We operate as two cities but we are one community and when we are cut in half it has uh, immediate impacts for all businesses and, and people as well. With the rise of case numbers in Sydney showing no signs of slowing, Aubrey's mayor expects the border bubble to shrink and says it's time to put a ring of steel around Sydney. I don't think regional New South Wales has done anything wrong. They should be considering roadblocks around Sydney. A lot easier to do than Melbourne. Some checkpoints are in place along the border, but a call to the Australian Defence Force for logistical help to run them was rejected. The state government says it might need to ask again. I wouldn't rule it out uh, if the situation continues to deteriorate. Victoria and Victoria Police will take all the measures we need to keep Victoria safe. In the meantime, police are using mobile patrols armed with a $5,000 penalty to maintain border security. Michaela Ortolan, ABC News, Aubrey Wodonga.